So we found the big old male, Nileti, at home under the jackalberry tree inside in Yati Lodge. After being treated with the uh, Yeti in the Yati camp, Gabriel and I are sitting out to go and follow up with our stalwart female, Lepi Tangisa. We've received reports that um, she's at the den site with the cubs. And it's been uh, a little bit of, it was a bit of drizzle and uh, it's nice and cool. So we suspected she's there with the cubs. It should be some good activity. So let's go see what we can find. So we're very fortunate to find Tangisa and both her three-month-old cubs this morning. We spent probably two hours with them and they are extremely relaxed. It's lovely to see. You see the, the female trusts of the vehicles and people. Um, so that trust quickly rubs off on the cubs and they came up to probably within a meter of the, of the vehicle this morning. So fortunate to be able to spend time with these beautiful animals. So we've also bumped into Raven's Court, beautiful big male leopard, who's actually potentially the father of the cubs of Tlangisa. You're never 100% sure because they'll mate with multiple males to confuse paternity. After a full day's tracking, we've eventually found the pack of wild dogs we were looking for. It's the Investec pack, which have a, a very, very big home range, a very big pack. Um, you know, for us, easiest way to identify the Investec pack is they predominantly a very dark coloured pack. But as we were saying this morning, we're always extremely excited about finding wild dogs because they the most endangered predator in Africa second only to the Ethiopian wolf. So it's the most endangered predator that you could wish to find in the Kruger National Park. Um, at Inyati, in the last four or five years, we have been very, very lucky with the amount of wild dogs. We've been seeing them quite often, so much so that you almost lose the sense of how, how rare they are, but we're not going to moan about that. You can see in the background there's hyenas following them. 24-7 the hyenas are with them because the hyenas understand that these animals are a meal ticket. When they start hunting, you know, they've got a, a success rate of 70 to 90 percent. So they'll kill three or four impala a day. And if there are enough hyenas, the hyenas will often just muscle them off kills. They're so successful that vultures actually follow the wild dogs when they're around here. And you can see the bond with these animals. They're the most cooperative predators that you can probably find around here. If there's an indi in individual, the others will bring back food to them, they'll regurgitate food to them. The adults regurgitate food to the little ones, even if they haven't sired them. So uncles and aunts all look after each other. So they really value 
each other because the strength of the pack is 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 very important to survival of the animals so with them being rid of these small animals they have to rely on big packs to be able to compete with much larger predators like hyenas and even leopards 90 percent of the time if they find leopards they they tree them so leopards you know, they, they, they dominate most of the predators but it's just because of their the attitude to towards life and you know the, the number very brazen animals So we had an absolutely amazing wild dog sighting. It was it was chaos as usual. As we got here, they ran after some bush buck and then after Impala. Uh, so they had two chases through the block. They're very very thick stuff, so we could take video. Uh, and unfortunately, they didn't have any luck. And they just come back out of the block. You'll see from the video, it was very low light. They had a drink, but we have to head back to camp now because, as you can see, there's two massive storms either side of us and the waters further along to the west, then the catch into the river. So I want to get to the right side of the river before we get cut off, but uh, have a look at that beautiful storm building to the south. Oh, come on, never come.